to gram. There are many ways in which this has been defined on the web. But if you read them all and if you summarize them, you can conclude majorly this, which says graphical representation of the spread or distribution of supply data. You can also say that it is also used to see the frequency distribution that is to know how often each unique value in the supplied data occurs. So this is where we use the histogram. Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. To understand the concept clearly, please watch the video till the end. Once you are done with watching the video, do not forget to like, comment, subscribe and hit the bell icon today. So we will start with creating a basic histogram. Then we will understand what is binning and then we will learn how to do formatting of the histogram and the most important part here we will see how you can create the separate histogram for each of the variable in a supplied data set let's say if you have a data set which has all variable numeric and if you want to create the uh, and which has 20 variables and you want to create separate separate histogram for each of the variable how can you do that every time you don't have to create that you can just use a technique and you can do that right so let's see how we can do that let's start with the basic one so here we have boston data so here we have boston data and let's see what is the shape of this data This Boston data has 506 observations, that means rows and 13 columns. So if you want to use this Boston data, so this is the existing data in Python, right? So if you are looking at the syntax, you can just use this syntax to load this particular data from, uh, from Python, uh, I mean, sklearn dataset library. So use this complete syntax. Now we're going to use is variable out of this let's see what all are the columns which we have available in boston boston dot columns you're gonna say and then let's read that so th these are the columns which we have available in boston data set so i'm gonna use age variable to create a sample histogram how can we do that let's say plt and you're gonna say hist that's it and into this you need to supply the variable which you want to use so from boston i want to use age variable okay and let's run this here we go now here we have our age data plotted in the histogram in the form of histogram all right so now it is making uh difficult to understand what uh, I mean, where does one column ends, right? So to differentiate that, if you just uh, change the color of lines of each of the bar, then it will help you understand. So let's change age color, age color, and let's say black. You can also say it EC. The spelling was incorrect here we go now you can clearly see uh, uh, you can uh, clearly differentiate each of the bars in this chart right between 40 to 60 years we have somewhere 35 plus 40 somewhere 75 people between 40 to 60 all right so this is how you can use a bar graph uh, sorry a histogram to read the frequency or you can see the distribution. Now let's understand the binning concept. What is this binning? Here you see in the interval of 0 to 20, you just see two bars only, right? So you can either understand, I mean, this can be somewhere, here it is 2 and this can be somewhere 15 to 20 or maybe this could be 10 to 15. So you can say this 10 to 15, we have somewhere uh, 18 people and 15 to 20 we have somewhere this 35 people all right so these many people are there we have uh, uh, we have these many people 
into this bracket but what if you want to increase this number of columns and you want to identify each of the bar separately so for that you don't need to do much just say bins bins equals to let's say 10 let's say how many bins it becomes it is already 10 i guess let's make it 20 now you can see like you can see so we have columns representing different age separately like this one is separately representing to the people who are 20 years old so this is how you can change the beans as well now you here you see it's it, it is showing a default interval which says 0 to 20 20 to 40 40 to 60 60 to 80 and 80 to 100 so the it is taking the range so in in the age variable the minimum age which we have is two years old and the maximum age which we have is 100 years old right let's let me show you how is uh, i mean how correct is that so for that you can just use boston dot H and then you say let me put this let's see here here we go so here you can see the minimum age is 2.9 and the maximum age is 100 years all right so now you have this interval over over x-axis all right what if you want to create your own interval what if you want to create just four intervals and you just want to see in the bracket of 0 to 25, 25 to 50, 50 to 75, 75 to 100 and so on. So how, how can you do that? For that, you're going to provide a list of intervals over here. How can we do that? So let's say 0, 25, 50, 75 and 100. 150 people. So like you can see the inter though the interval have been changed but still here at x axis it is showing the previous older interval only how can we change that so for that you're going to use plt dot x x ticks all right and in the x ticks you need to provide this list the interval list now you can see this from 0 to 25 you have 50 people 25 to 50 you have somewhere 100 people 50 to 75 and this this is this is how it is right so on so this is how you can change the interval using the beans you can change the number of columns in a histogram using beans parameter all right and like as usual you can use plt dot x label to say age interval you can just provide the x title like age interval and then you can say plt dot y label and you can say counts and then you can provide the title which is and you can say age distribution You can set the age distribution and then you can simply run this. Here we go. Here we have everything written here. All right. So this is how you can create a histogram. Now let's say if you want to change the bar color, how can you do that? So for that, you don't have to do much. Just say colors. Color and you put the color name. Let's say I want to make it green. Okay. Let's run this. So here the color has been changed. Now the most interesting part which I showed and promised you to show at the end of this video. Now the time comes in and we're going to see how can we create separate histogram for each of the variable in Boston data set. So before we start that, let's delete all of the previously created histograms, right? And let's see what all are the variables that we have in entire data set and then let's see what all are the columns which we have all right so these are the columns which we have in Boston data set now to understand uh, to, to understand how we're going to create it it is important that we first check the 
uh, we first check the data type of each of the variable let's try info sorry let's try to use the info option over here info and let's see what does it shows here we go so like here you can see everything is float so now you understand that all of the variables all of the 13 variables in this particular data set are numeric data frame right so you, what we can do we can just create a list of all the columns and then we can see how we're gonna create automatically a separate histogram for each of the variable let's say columns and let's say this is the list of columns all right now i am going to create so what is it that we actually require to create a histogram we just need to say plt dot hist all right and here we need to provide the variable name which is from boston and here you just need to keep on changing the variables name one by one and that will keep on showing for example prime all right and at the bottom plt dot show i gonna i'll say show and before that i will put the title in the title i'm just going to use the variable name itself all right now let's try to run this so here we have the first one created so similarly you can change the variable names over here and you can have a separate histogram for each of the variable in the boston data set now so this is something which you can do manually how can uh, how can you do that automatically so for that you're going to use for loop for i in columns and let's say the alignment we just need to change it this and this we're just gonna change this variable name with i all right before we run this let's close this previously created one and then select this and boom sorry something went wrong oh it says ptl it's not ptl it's plt title should be plt Now let's run this here we go boom like you can see it's creating a separate histogram for each of the variable we clarified the doubt just in case if you have any confusion do not put do not forget to put your doubts into the comment section we will definitely get back to you